Yo, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ice Prince Amani, J Town's Grammy. Coming down fresh in my JoJo Amani. Used to be broke, yeah, couldn't get a penny. Now I'm in the house cleaning out like a nanny. Yes, yes, y'all. This is your boy Ice Prince, and you're watching Factory 78. That's what it is. Don't stop. Don't stop. If you stop, Nepal will take lights wherever you did. Keep watching, yo. Peace. <laughs> Ole who tell me something where I know fit to This is F78 TV Factory78.com Addition quick exclusive interviews. I've got right next to me another brother that's completely popping up the scene, ripping it about. His ice is cool, it's princely, it's ice prince too much hype though. it has to be it has to be ice prince how you doing i'm good boss what it do man you know it's it's um i don't even know where to start like factory78.com we we meet a lot of artists we meet people that make hits we meet hit makers and we meet artists first of all let's talk about the fact that ice prince is an artist tell the fans out there exactly who you are and what you do bro i flow so bad my tongue is vaccine um, Ice Prince, first of all, let me introduce myself. My real name is Panshak Zamani, as P A N S H A K, and then Zamani, I always say it in my song, Z A M A N I. I'm from Joss, I'm a rap artist, I'm signed to Chocolate City, and I'm a Nigerian. Um, I'm a random guy. I know random dudes, trust me. Now, you said you're a rap artist. Rap music, first of all, to like the, the 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 audience out there in Nigeria, rap music has been done in a you know in a whole lot of styles. Yeah. You've got people that do you know the usual rap music, yeah. which is the brand that comes from the states, yeah. you know, and they just go straight rap and stuff like that. And other people that do a little bit of mixture. Now, you okay? It's so exciting. The game's been dark, but I'm igniting. Positive flow. I'm so can do both. You're one of those people that are blessed that can do both. What was your first taste? of the industry how did you get into the rap game how did you take that mic let's say it that way um for me my rap it started in, it started it all started in joss um we used to have um something called loopy it's the, it's the loopy still exists I, i'm sorry loopy still exists we have something called loopy that's me and my jesse ruby i'm lindsay eve and right now bramo we have a team and what we used to do back then in joss was we used to gather people every sunday just a free show and then just jam it was live jamming we had drums jesse would be on the drums and i would be on the keyboard i'll be on the mic rapping just entertaining people you know we, we watched actually we watched dave Chappelle's block party and that really inspired jam session and we started doing jam session we came and mike came up with the idea and we started doing it so from there the skill just grew up you know what i mean like it just kept growing and we started battling people in joss you know, winning all the freestyle battles, luckily for me. Like, I was always lucky all the time. I was not the best, but I was always winning. You know, and that just grew, man. I just turned into a rapper. And I hope they play this so I can grow up from low to apex until my account is fat and shapeless. Now, before we go into your music as well, especially the album that's going to be coming up, I want to talk about the controversies first. Factory78.com, f 7 tv let's get this out of the way. First of all, the monster hit of 2010. Whether you like it or not, that song Ole Ku featuring Brian Moore was fanta fantastically done. The beat's ridiculous. The chorus is sick. The song tore up the radio stations, the video, the, you know, the YouTube, it tore up absolutely everything. But something happened in the last one month, which was the, the, the unauthorized release of your unfinished music video. Tell us a little bit about that and how it made you feel. It was a terrible situation for me. Like I was, I was very depressed that period. But what happened was, the first cut that my my director submitted, that was what leaked out. And when he submitted it, I didn't like it, and my record label didn't like it too. So we sent it back to him and we asked him to re-edit it, and which he did. But what happened was. Because we're not all in Lagos, we're not all in the same place. Some people in Abuja, some people in Lagos, we're all scattered. He sent us the link on for shared. You understand me? You know what I mean? But, but what he did was he sent it on the private link. You get? He sent it on the private link and we got it, we watched it. And we said, no, go back and read it, the video. And he said, yes, he read it. 
Unfortunately for somebody got, got, got his hand on the private link. Unfortunately, I don't know how. We emailed for shared. They said they were going to get back to us. Blah, 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 blah. We've not started up to now. But I mean, it just went out like that. And it was it was very, it was very, very, very depressing for me. It was, it was. You know, I can imagine, you know, how you felt. Because over here, the video, like I said, the song has been out for a couple, you know, for months. And it, it's had remixes. According to, you know, on, on confirmed sources, that song is the most remixed song coming out of Nigeria. Like, everybody had their own verses on that song. I think that's true. Absolutely, because we saw that. My, my boy is a DJ, so he's got, like, verses in everything. He's got remixes, loads of it. And all of a sudden, YouTube went crazy. The Facebook pages went crazy. And the video was out. Personally, I'm going to put this out here on F78 TV. I don't care what y'all say. I like that video. You know, even though it wasn't finished, I liked the video that I saw. I told my boy, I'm like, you know, I'm done. I'm, I'm good with this video. And all of a sudden, within 24 hours, we had the release of the statement that said someone had jacked you over the internet. African music, Nigerian music, we haven't really suffered internet kind of thieves before. This was probably the first known one to hit one of our superstars. It wasn't a good thing at all, trust me. I was, I was too depressed that period. I was I was thinking about it now. I'm starting to feel depressed. Like. Now, before we get you too depressed, <laughs> the video is out now yeah, on YouTube. Oh, no, yeah, fantastic. Go on F78 TV. You can check it out there. It's yeah, fantastic. The cut is ridiculous. Ole Cool is one of those songs that is just the minute I, I heard it for the first time, it was a hit. Now, tell me about the making process of that song. Did you go into the studio thinking you were going to go make a hit or it just happened? I didn't know, honestly. First of all, what happened was. Um, at the time, Chocolate City was, you know, on my neck to to, to submit my single because they had released M.I., they released Jesse. What they wanted, they, what what they were what, what they were supposed to release next was Ice Prince, and they were on my neck for my single, and there was no single. So I, I got a beat from my friend. His name is Saz. Saz is the producer for Kondo, you know, Dark Green's Kondo and YQ's I like girls, girls. And he gave me a beat, and then the first thing that came to my head when I was writing was, she feeling the boy. Feeling she feeling the boy and that sounded good. So I was writing it in the studio, just trying to write, you know, verses to that. And Jesse came in. Jesse walked in and he heard me singing that. And Jesse started playing the chords to what I was singing. And I liked it. So we just put on the system, he recorded, you know, the whole instrument. And between God and man, I swear to God, like I'm swearing to God, Jesse made the whole beat under 30 minutes. The whole beat for all you could. Under 30 minutes. And he made it and he, you know, stepped out of the studio. I wrote it there. And I started, I thought I needed more melody for the song. So I started composing in my head. Da, 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 And I wanted Yoruba, you know, I wanted to put Yoruba words to that. So I called Brian to the studio. We sat down together, put our heads together, and we wrote it. And it came out the way it was. But I didn't expect it to be this big. Trust me, I did not expect it to be this big. I just thought it was an okay song. You know what I mean? I thought it was an okay song. Exactly. I, it wasn't even going to come out as my first single. But because, you know, the demand was too much, the demand was, I needed to put it out real quick. So we just tested down the internet, and then from the internet it just went everywhere. It just went crazy, like you said, you just got Brian to come into the studio to yeah. do that for you. First of all, each verse on that song, like everybody's part on that song, was incredible in its own way. Now the the rhymes, I still I still watch the video today. The rhymes, I was listening to your rhymes and watching you say it at the same time. You know, writing a song like that. Like, do you think of the chorus as well as when you're putting it together, how much does each verse affect the chorus? It's so exciting. The game's been dark, but I'm igniting. Positive flow, I'm so attracting. Um, first of all, that kind of song, that those kind of songs that, that the chorus comes, the chorus comes first, mm. you have to try and write something that has to relate with the chorus in a way. You know what I mean? So I had the chorus first. The chorus, the chorus came first. And then I was writing verses that could relate to the chorus, basically. And you know, it's just, it's just creativity, man. When you're in the studio, it just comes somehow. It comes. And for me, I was just, I just kept writing. I didn't stop when I started writing the verses. I'm so interesting. It's why they say that I'm the next thing. Even on features, I'm impressed. I just want to talk about myself. And I just kept writing, 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 writing. And then I broke it into three verses. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now the song, like I said, has completely turned up the internet. The new video is out. Go check it out. It's yeah. fantastic. We're sure it's going to be successful. It's going to make you know make up for the the, the, the thieves that did what they do. 
and kind of ripped. Shout out to the thieves, the, 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 the thieves though, because it was at the end of the day, it was a good thing for me, you know what I mean? Because I was when that thing happened, I was in the news like a lot, man. Every paper I bought. There's something about Ice Prince in the news about a leaked video. You know, I mean, I was in the news. If I up till now, I'm still in the news in, in the papers in Nigeria. So it was a good thing for me. It was a good hype. Like I liked it. Yeah, I just yeah. Absolutely. Now, wait, if if only Cool is like the first ver the first song of that album. Tell us about the album itself. What work you've done on the album, and what we're supposed to be expecting from an album that has produced such a monster hit of 2010. Me, me and my team and were locked in the studio constantly recording that album. You know, me, Jesse, Mi, Bramo, everybody else, the engineers were all locked in the studio constantly making the album. And what we normally do is when, when, when we're making an album, we make up to like 50 songs. There, but like what the Mi2, he, he wrote close to 70 songs. You know, and at the end of the day. The label and the board will sit down and pick the, the you know the best 13 or 14 or 10 or whatever number is going to make the album, pick and make the album. So right now we're just basically recording a whole lot of stuff, and I like what I, I like what I'm recording. You know, what I mean like I have songs that I'm more excited about than Uli Cool. You know, what I mean I know how I felt when I met me when I made Uli Cool, and I have songs that I feel even even. I have even better feelings for that Uli Cool. So I, I, I kind of hope the album is going to do great. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're working on it tirelessly. Well, we're looking forward to the album and we hope it's going to do great as well. I know you guys are in, you know, you guys are in town for performances and you're jetting out tomorrow. Tell us about the vibe that you give the fans out there when you're, when you're performing on stage. What does it, what does it feel like? Um, I just try to, for me, for me personally, I just try to have fun when I'm on stage. You know what I mean? Like, crack jokes if I can. You know, um, call people up on stage to dance if they, if they want to. I just, I just try to have fun. And when I get on stage, whether I'm in London or I'm in Kenya or I'm in Dubai, wherever I am, I just try to have fun on stage. And it's been quite interesting, man. Like, the UK has shown us mad love, you know what I mean? First of all, we did London, then we went to Manchester, then we went to Hatfield. And so now we're going to do London again. So it's just... It's just been love everywhere we've been to, man, and it's quite interesting, man. Thanks to everybody showing us love. People show us love like we're well, from the same womb or something. It's, it's quite interesting, man. It's a great feeling. I love it. It's fantastic. Well, factory78.com, we're extremely excited that you decided to talk to us. We're happy for the single. We're looking to talk to you, man. Trust me. Man. That's what you heard it first. That's him right there, Ice Prince. You know, you, you, you guys are doing really well in the industry. We're excited. We're waiting for the album, and we're looking forward for it to come out in the summer. So, bro, have a fantastic event tonight and safe trip. Thank you very much, man. God bless everybody, man. Peace.